Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It's Friday, it's almost noon, it's like 10 to noon, and I am just now venturing out. It is a gorgeous day out, and I guess I can just stop saying it, that it's not that warm out. It's 45 degrees, so yeah, winter's here. Although there's no snow. Knock on wood, don't need any. If I wanna see snow, I'll watch White Christmas. So today we are going to be running around and doing a bunch of dumb shit as usual. Right now, I turned around and I'm going back to get gas because I didn't realize how low I am on gas. So I'm gonna go get gas and then I'm going to a running store to try to get different inserts for these boots. When I looked at the, at the receipt, because I was thinking maybe I should just return these. The problem is, is that I've worn them. So the bottoms are all scratched up and everything. And when I looked at the receipt, it said they must be in brand new condition resellable and they're not plus i've slathered them with freaking otter wax and everything and i'm just like that that would be really awful of me i know a lot of people that like buy shit and switch it and return it and all that kind of that's just that's just not right so i'm not going to do that i'm not going to have somebody else buy my freaking used boots and it's not that they're bad it's just that you know they could be a tad bit more comfortable for a heel striker like me so what i did was i took out the three quarter insole that I have in my Clark boots and what that does is it basically just goes sort of like it sort of thins out right there at, at your arch like right before it gets to the ball on the front of your foot I'll be damned if it didn't make these things a hundred percent better right now I've got them in there but these are old and then I'd have to get a pair for my Clark boots because I wear those all the time too so I'm going to go to the running store and see if I can't find a decent pair of the insoles that, that are three quarters. And I figure I got a better shot of finding that at like a running store because they're gonna have a lot more shit. Man, these people are out of their minds. That's like two accidents from people trying to turn right on red. You know, you're actually supposed to look before you turn. Anyways, so yeah, we're gonna go, ugh, Jesus, see, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. I'm literally driving all over the place. It is such a habit for me to come this particular way and go to the UPS store that I have now passed the gas station entrances twice. So I guess I can kiss it goodbye about ever getting that spot. But all right, let's try to pay attention and go get some gas because I don't need to go to UPS because I'm not expecting anything because I'm not buying anything. All right, time for gas or time to buy gasoline. OK, I don't exactly know what's going on and why the hell everyone is so batshit crazy. It's 1220 on a Friday. It's not like we're at rush hour time, but there is so much traffic out here and people are like cutting into lanes and doing freaky ass u-turns and blocking the intersections ah the holidays so yeah i'm just basically sitting in traffic now trying to get from place to place it's kind of annoying oh just take that turn nice and slow as possible oh my god tree falling in the woods tree falling in the woods jesus she just now made that turn what the fuck? okay kids here we go. I ended up going to a couple different places rather than the running store because I started to remember that I had those other three quarter insoles that I must have gotten at Target. So I went to Target and it ended up getting Air Plus plantar fasciitis three quarter insoles or whatever. And I gotta say, they're pretty damn comfortable. They're not crowding me because I can't have a full insole that goes all the way down to the toe because the boots would be like uncomfortably tight but these three-quarter ones with that cushy gel shit on the heel actually feels pretty good so i'm going to be wearing these around and seeing how they go so yeah now i'm back home it's 12 50. i'm going to make lunch and then i'm going to sit down and make myself finish sending out the emails that i need to send out for today for day job and then that's all i'm going to do so let's get busy well i decided to take a detour I finished what I intended to finish for day job and decided that I wanted to come outside because it was at least sunny. Not warm, but at least sunny. So here I am at Great Neck Park. Good bit of water. No birds that I can see. This is so much more pleasant when there aren't 50 billion bugs annoying the hell out of me. Now I definitely got to be careful over here because these boots are way the hell too slippery for me to get that close because I definitely will fall down that hill. But yeah, at some point there were, there were like lawn chairs out here. <laughs> I mean, clearly people come back here and 
they sort of have it cordoned off and and they probably just sit out here in this little open area. I mean, it's scenic, very relaxing. Okay, I have to pee. I guess we're just gonna hike it back over to the parking lot and get out of here. Don't know what I'm gonna do next. I mean, I definitely have to go to the UPS store. Even though I haven't bought anything, you never know. She has stuff going there now too, so. All right, that's enough of that. Hope you enjoyed the walk. Okay, kids, so I'm finally remembering that I need to hook up this damn battery back up, which means I gotta plug, unplug the internet and all that shit, which means I don't have any light in here. So that's why I've got this. Um, I do have the, the new chandelier on over there, but it's not bright enough to get under here and do all this crap. So I'm gonna do that now and let you watch. Lights are on. Ziggy, turn on the living room lights. Okay. Okay, so she got some of them, but at least I know that the lights are on now. Now let's see if the tube come back on. I set it to holiday music today. Let me hear it. Sing it, Perry. I had it muted. Ha, <laughs> dumbass. Okay, so that's on. Okay, those are on. The office lights are on. Okay, I think everything is good. All the lights are back on. The computers are working. The TVs are TVing. No alarms are going off. Let's go down and finish this video somewhere else. Okay, kids, here we are with something different that I haven't done in a while, and I'm in the garage, and I have been kind of playing around with where everything is. I do have the usual setup. I have it sitting on top of this what is that, a uh, butterfly cage that is being stored here for the winter from the library. It's kind of convenient because I got it like right there and it's a good height for this tripod that I always carry around. I extended the legs all the way out and now I have it sort of like I'm right in between, kind of halfway between it. Now I have my SL60 light up on over there, which you can see does a wicked reflection off this, uh, this tile because it's reflective. It's not like matte, it doesn't absorb it. So that's kind of annoying, but okay, whatever. Now the problem is, is that I have all the lights shut off here in the garage and that thing is so bright that it, you know, I kind of had that sting every breath you take thing going on. So I had a drawer, yet another magical drawer full of reflectors that I put on another tripod. So I'm gonna show you all this. So I just had that sort of sitting there on another tripod and then obviously there's the light. There I am. Okay, so yeah, all right, there, now it's catching up. So um, basically here's the, the little butterfly enclosure and there's Maddie. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back down now. Probably never get it centered to where I want it. Okay, it kind of says it's back to where it's supposed to be. And I have it uh, clear image zoomed in I don't know what it goes to because it didn't show me that, but as far as I can get it to go so that I could cut out all, because this lens is so wide, it actually went out to the black curtain over there and all the junk over there. So you still kind of get my skateboard in there and nothing I can do about that. Adds a little bit of distraction, right? Whatever. So yeah, I don't come down here that often. And since I was running around doing all other shit, I thought, why not? I'll just finish up the video in here just for something different. So I'm like Schwitz in here, even though it's kind of cold out and it is 5 15 so she'll be home shortly and who knows what we're doing for dinner or whatever i'm kind of hungry we got a lot of stuff planned for tomorrow so we're going to get up we're going to go to vb flea and we're going to have breakfast and then we're going to go to the farmer's market and who knows what else we're going to do at least that's what we have planned now we'll see if that actually happens or not but pretty good chance of us going out and having an adventurous day otherwise i have gotten all my day job stuff done I do plan on spending this weekend filming and taking pictures because I just haven't done that enough for my own satisfaction. So I'm gonna break all this shit down before she comes home and then she's gonna to have to go around the maze of stuff that I have here and nobody wants to deal with that at the end of the day. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, I'll leave them down below. As always, 
Thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.